Okay. Hey guys, so when you're when you're using an edger to edge edge concrete, first thing you got to do is you got to make sure you get on it at the right time. And how you figure that out is you just got to keep touching the concrete. When I when I can touch it and I can push in a good quarter of an inch, that's about ready to start edging. So you got to cut this edging right here. I'm going to show you how I do that. First thing I do is, do is I just run it along the board. Okay, I'm using about a 3 8 a 3 8 curved edger. I like these brass ones. You run it along the board like this and you get that edge cut. And then you go back over that part nice and, nice and easy like that. And you just keep going. If you get on the concrete at the right time, this is really easy. If you wait until it's a little harder, and you're gonna to have to work really hard to cut that edge in. Just get me doing the rest of it, take you. Now, if you got a spot, if you got a spot you need to fill in that's kind of rough, all you got to do is you scrape up a little of the cream like that. You got that cream right there. You take that cream and you just put it in that rough spot just like that, and it fills it right in. And then don't worry about that. You're gonna mag over that after. When you do a corner like this. Okay, you just go one way, cut it the other way, okay, you got a little bit of build up there in the corner, get rid of that, you have to go over it a couple times like that, there's your corner. on that little front patio if not. That's it, that's how you that's it, that's how you edge concrete guys. Nice little brass edger. Alright guys, so when we mag float concrete, number one we gotta get it on at the right time. And again, if you're gonna check it, you know you gotta get right down here and check it with your fingers to see how soft it is. This little patio is going to have a, it's going to be stamped, so we've got to get it magged out, get it all nice and smooth, fill in all the rock holes. So I'm, I'm, be, I'm pressing in about a quarter to three-eighths of an inch. There's no bleed water. That means this thing's about ready to mag, so I'm going to mag it out. I've got a, what's called like a, a Darby here. This is a little bit bigger than a regular mag float, but this works good when it's kind of soft. So when you're magging... Okay, when you go one way, you got to tip. You got to tip the mag up the way you're going. When you go the other way, you got to tip it back. And you're just looking. You're looking to get it to change and fill in all these little, these little air holes and these little rock holes here, and bring up more cream. You're just going back and forth, putting a little pressure down on the mag. you get it smooth like that with everything filled in that's part done then you move on
those rock holes right there, you get a close up of that. And then watch me mag them. When you mag right over them, they fill right in. See how we have see how we have a little rough spot right here on the edge? Now the way we fill that in with a mag is we just take the mag and we scrape up a little bit of cream on top. We take that cream and we just fill that right in with that, go over that rough spot and it's gone. That's it guys, that's how you mag float concrete. Hey. Luke's got the funny float going. From Cadillac Concrete Products. Seems to work pretty good. We can funny float this and we don't have to get on it with knee boards. Hey guys, Mike here again. So we're getting ready to cut in our edges. It's been about an hour after the pour. Uh, the, I mean, the concrete still is too soft to put a broom on it, but it's not too soft to start cutting the edges in. So we're getting our edges all cut in. You can see we already got our grooves cut in. This is, this is just about an hour after the pour. This is 4,000 PSI. It's about 60 degrees out here today. It's kind of cloudy. So it's not like we're right in the sun or anything. You see, we're cutting it in on that too over there. This is, this is the first load. This was two loads. So the first load's ready, the second load's still just a little soft to be starting to cut in the edges on.
Good, Abby. All right, so it's been about two hours since we got this thing poured, and the sun's the sun's shining on some of it. Some of it's in the shade, but it is getting ready. So we're magging it, and we're getting a broom on it. As you can see, I got I got a broom mark on that one already. But the guys are out there magging it. We're going to start brooming this thing. Again, it's been about two hours, and this stuff's ready. Probably about 70 degrees out today.
All right, guys, so we're finishing up here on this, this broom finish patio and sidewalk. It's probably been two to two and a half hours after we got done pouring, and we're all done. So we got it all magged, we got it broomed, we got it grooved, and we're all done. As you can see, the sun's starting to hit it now, so the pot and the sun really set up pretty quick. That's it guys, I mean, when it's in the sun, you really gotta get on it and you gotta be quick.